Hi Dean, you're very welcome. Um, it's Patrick here. I'm just going to um, do a short video on base on um, on the I guess what we what I see is the, is probably the the number one problem in with a lot of roofing ads. Now, when it comes to running roofing ads, you know some of them convert, some of them don't, and we need to look at why do why do some ads work better than others? And there are a number of key issues that we see all the time coming up here so the number one problem that um, we see all the time is when when uh, when a roofing ad is run through adwords the the website that they're sending it to is often not as good as it could be and i'll explain that what i hear um i'll explain what i mean by that here so i guess when you're running an ad um, what people tend to do is they run to a website and when you're running a, an ad to a website, what's changed in the last few years is people are primarily using mobile phone now. But on the other hand, websites were never really designed for mobile for mobile devices. So what you have going on is you have a lot of crammed full of information running, um, going from an ad to a homepage of a website, which tends to be non-specific and very busy. So in this example here, um, I'm just taking a city like Dublin, could be anywhere, Bristol, Liverpool, wherever you are. And you can put into the, the um, say, roofing plus city, the service that you're going after. And we're looking at the first one here, the ads on it. And I'm just going to run, look through the websites here that are running through the ads. I'm not clicking on the ads because that's costing these guys. So I'm just going to put in, I put in the URLs myself separately here. So when we look at it here, the first website um, is All Guard Roofing. And this is uh, the homepage of a website that they're running through. Now, this is an extremely busy page. So if you're on a mobile phone, this is not the kind of, you know, website I want to be running to. You know, I guess you've got the flashing number on top, which is fine. The number's flashing, it'll catch your attention but you've got a lot of information rammed in here now if i scroll down to the website here i've got an awful lot of content here in each one of these keywords are all clickable um, it gives how long they're in business uh, national guild master craftsmanship um, then you've got social links then you've got the phone numbers mobile phone number office phone number then you've got fairly grainy images here that are not really specific in, in what they're about. Um, they're fairly poor quality images. Then you've got a video down here, 30 year warranty, which is fine. And then you've got more written content here as well. It's extremely busy. Um, and then request a callback. That should, you know, you have that down the end, which is good. But then you have some reviews here, at least. I'd have to click on this to read more reviews. So it's an awful lot of content crammed into, you know, something that you're going to read on a mobile device. And then you have all the services here and the location. Now, a lot of the information here is quite good. But if I'm on a mobile phone, this is very busy. It's not really clear as to what it's pushing you to do. And I'll explain how this could be better um, in a while. So that's one example. Um, the second one here, it's not as bad, but it's still fairly poor quality. This is going to the homepage of a website again, which is a mistake, I think is a primary mistake. Um, so we've got the phone number on top. It should be clickable. Um, I assume it is, but the difference between the email and the phone is very, is very, there's, it seems to me it's just all rammed into one. Again, there's an awful lot of content here. This link is clickable. Um, Dublin Roofer. It's not really saying anything, and yet it's saying an awful lot. Um, request a free quote. This is clickable. You can leave a name, email, and phone number here and send it off, which is a good thing. At least that's there. Um, but it's busy, and it's non it's not really directing the actual um, prospect to do very much of anything other than ring the phone. Um, this is chimney repairs is fine if we're looking for chimney repairs, but on the homepage, 
and then they have all the other services here. It's extremely busy, a lot of content. Um, there's no map here. There is a contact us button. Um, they have the address. Um, so again, busy and not really encouraging you to do very much and not really much, <clears throat> nothing better than the one previous to it. The third one here is an example. It's, it's a little bit better. Number one, that the image is at least as clear and bright, but it is a generic image. That's the only downside to it. So it's not dark. You have a clickable phone number here and an email, but you'll have to click on the link and then go off to an email to if you want to post an email, you know, leave your email address and phone number, request a callback. Um, there is a video there which is good. This con the written content here is brief, um, generic images for the first one, second one roof repairs. That is an original image. That's an original image. Flat roofing, that's original, that's generic, um, that's original. So it's a mix of combination of generic. In this in this case, it's simple and clear, but there's really not enough content on it. Um, the other ones had too much content. The images are questionable. Um, there is the contact us inquiry form, which is good. And you have links here going off to other, um, you know, you don't have the address. You have the address, but you don't have the maps. So it's a little bit better, but it's it's a home page, and because it's a home page, it's pretty poor. How it should look is is more something like this. If you were looking at it on a mobile phone, um, I would prefer it to look like this. The Steve's roofing here, first thing you have is very clear brand, okay? Then you have a touch to call button. There's no email around it. There's nothing that's just forcing you to, to click. Then the title tag, um, in this case, this is a, a Limerick um, city site. So it says Steve's Roof is Limerick. So the title tag has got Steve's Roofing Limerick, which is good. Then underneath the image here, you have an incentive here to leave your name, address, and phone number. If you're not going to call me, well, then email me. So they're the first two actions that are on that. You have call me if it's outside of hours. Well, then, OK, Steve's Roof in Limerick. This is what we do. If you're not going to call me, email me. And here's the email. I just put the details in, request appointment and job done. You're not clicking on a link to go off to another page so you can leave your, your um, callback details here. Then there's a video. There's some good content here. Images are all original. Roofers Limerick. Again, this is a H1 tag and he's going after Roofing Limerick. Um, so it's, it's, it's I guess, um, what they're trying to do is push the Roofers Limerick is the, is the service that they're um, pushing and it's here in a H1 tag. So that's going to be good for your quality scores. Um, again, some brief information about it. Again, the service is all original images and they're clear. They're not dark. They're not grainy. They're just good quality images and, and there's no, um, you know, sort of generic images in there. Again, here all the reviews. The reviews are listed. You can read down to it. I don't need to click into a link to go off to reviews on mobile phone. They're all right in front of us here. So, and again, you have why choose us, the, the, the basically what's unique about it. Then you have the maps listing, the address. Um, going off to the map listing. So that's all there. You don't have to click on a link to go off and find that. The address of the business, and then you can see it here, but underneath here, there's another um, phone button. Um, and that, I'll just try and bring it up here. It, basically, this phone button doesn't go away. So once somebody's scrolling down through the information, they see the call button all the time. So that's incentivizing them to actually call. And if not, you can just leave your, your um, callback details here. That's how it should. It's on a mobile device. It's clear. It's consistent. It's not distracting the, the, um, the reader to click on links and go off into other pages and get lost. You're on a mobile phone. All the information has to be on that page as you scroll down. That's how it should be. Um, as opposed to um, 
a basically a page on a home site. You see, the difference here is this is this here is actually a website. Okay, the home page of a website. It should actually be on a landing page designed specifically for that ad. So with landing pages, landing pages, I can alter the H1 tag here. I can put in more reviews. I can structure it so the quality scores are, are higher. When you send an ad to a roofing or to actually a homepage of a website, I can't alter the, if my quality score is poor here, for this, um, this uh, say, uh, if the quality score on this ad for Olga Roofing is poor, I can alter. I can do very little altering on the website without affecting the website. Whereas if I'm running to a landing page, I can alter that all day long. So I can send an ad to a landing page for a specific service. So if it's Roofers Limerick, can go to a Roofing Limerick page. Now. If I want to, if the ad is about flat roofing is per city, I can send it off to a separate page about flat roofing. What tends to happen with a lot of ads here is if we put in um, flat roofing repairs um, and we see what ads are coming up, what we tend to see is I'll just let it come up here and then I'll show you what we're looking at. Just bear with me one second. Okay. We see that the first ad is about is about flat roofing. Um, we The key word we put in is flat roofing repairs. Okay. And the first ad that come up is flat roofing repair needed fully insured. So if we click on, I'm not going to click on that ad. I'm just going to put in the, um, just bear with me one second now. I need to bring this over here so you can see it. Now, if we put in that link here that that ad is going to, it's, I'm just going to put it in here so you can see it yourself. It's first choice roofing. So this is where we put in flat roofing repairs. And this ad here is saying flat roofing repair needed, which is good. Now, when I click on that link, I'm not going to a flat roofing page. I'm going to again to a home page of a website here. So this I'm, this has got nothing to do with flat roofing. It's just a generic home page, and this is the problem with a lot of ads. You're not landing on the page that you're looking for. This is just a generic home page about roofing services. Now I'm sure they do flat roofing, and it's probably in here, but I'm going to have to go looking for it. So they do tile roofing, slate roofing, chimney repairs, roofing valleys. Um, some information about it. There's nothing on here but flat roofing. That's the problem with, now if you run a mobile device and you look for flat roofing repairs and this company sends you off to the homepage, there's nothing here about flat roofing. There is a phone number, if I call them, I'm sure they do flat roofing, but there's, there's nothing about flat roofing. So if we go to the second ad here, and, um, and I put in CJ's, CJ's roofing services.ie, um, and we click on that. Okay, this is an ad. We put in flat roofing repairs, and I'm looking for flat roofing repair services. Now, CJ's roofing here ad here says CJ Roofing Services, roofing and guttering experts. Okay, again, there's nothing about flat roofing here. When I go off, click on that ad, and I go off to it. I've been on this site already, so I know it. There is there is a tab about flat roofing. But this whole page is not about flat roofing. So the customer now has to go in, find on a mobile device, find the flat roofing. If they do flat roofing services, click on that and then hope that that takes me off to a flat roofing page, which it will. But again, this is an awful lot of messing around here. What I should be doing here is landing on the flat roofing page here, just going straight into the flat roofing page 
but this flat roofing page is a very poor quality roofing page there's no reviews i can request a call back but there's no reviews and no information in here just basically contact us so again very poor quality ad you want to really be landing on a flat roofing landing page with all the reviews the call button and the actual request to call back with your maps and all the information on there so the user doesn't have to run around inside in a website that's on a mobile device that's how websites should be set up or landing pages should be set up um, if you are running an ad to a website you can do it but it's not the best process um, you're going to get much better results with a landing page that's structured that basically runs an ad about flat roofing to a flat roofing landing page and all the information is on there it doesn't require the user to run around <clears throat> inside in the actual website and um, so they can decide that they call you email you or move on to the next one that's how ads should be set up that's the number one mistake we're seeing with all um, uh, adwords that are run for a majority of roofing contractors they're not running the right ad to the right page. If they are sending it into a page, it's a generic page <clears throat> and it doesn't convert very easily. That's the number one mistake. We hope this helped you. Um, <clears throat> we'll talk to you again shortly. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.